It is um, based on drone technology, but it really was designed to become an air taxi ready to transport people from HP in urban centers across the world. And I always keep joking that this wasn't designed to be used in a small German city. This is designed for the global market. We're talking about cities like Jakarta, Manila, Sao Paulo, Mexico City, New York, um, where congestion is such a huge problem that people are desperately looking for solutions. And this is why we see so much interest in the work that we're doing. If you look at the technology, why do we think this is possible now to enable you know, the, the, Jackson, the Jackson's fiction of transporting people in the third dimension across cities? Um, it, it's really based on the technology that we have achieved. So one, it is extremely safe to fly. If we want to fly this at scale across the world, we have to get the statistics right. So safety is paramount. And we're absolutely confident that together with our partners, we will be able to offer a level of safety that is equivalent to that of commercial airliners. That must be our ambition. Otherwise, society will not accept this kind of technology be adopted at scale. Second, it's extremely simple to fly. If you pilot it in the longer run, of course we want to turn it fully autonomous. And this is, again, you know, where the input can play a major part in bringing in all this autonomous technology that it is working on, uh, on top of the processing power and so on that we need to go for. Last, it is socially acceptable in a way that is extremely quiet in its operations, and I can only invite all of you to, um, whenever you have a chance, to actually experience the border copter, and I'm going to talk a little bit more about our own later. Um, so, you have to experience it firsthand to see how quiet it actually is, and that why we are so confident that people will, why we accept that the operation of these vehicles in, in, in the city. And last, um, it is all electric, so it means it is emission free in its um, operations, and we believe that's a prerequisite to be operating sustainably um, again in, these, in, these, um, in the introduction of these new services. So, our goal is to introduce autonomous air taxi transportation services across cities um, within the next five years. We are confident we will see initial pilot demonstrations much earlier than that. I think we have a history of meeting really significant milestones in the development of this vehicle, starting out with the first ever flight of an electric propelled multicopter, um, going to the first ever permit to fly from an official aviation authority back in Germany, to the first ever autonomous a flight of an air taxi demonstration in Dubai four months ago. So we are excited to you know, meet new milestones uh, coming up in the next month. If you have a look at the screens that we have around, you will see some of those milestones and, and the footage around it, and um, you know, feel free to ask questions if that goes by. Um, I always say, you know, why Intel? So people ask me, why Intel? Why is Intel the perfect partner for you? I always say, we are more an electronics and software company than a traditional aircraft manufacturer. And if you look at the two elements, electronics and software, you instantly see the direct connection to Intel and why what the Intel legacy is directly transforms very valuably into the development of these kinds of technologies. So we're incredibly excited to continue working um, with Intel on these topics. And if you look at you know developments like RealSense, uh, the acquisition of Mobileye, of course, also opens up a whole new um, area of interesting technologies where we will certainly find good points to cooperate on in the next future. We will be here for the rest of the week and our next public appearance is um, at a conference in March in Germany where, interestingly, all the decision takers of the public transportation services across the world are um, all coming together in the context of UITP at a conference in Karlsruhe, funny enough, which is our hometown. So of all cities across the world, they're all meeting in Karlsruhe um, in a city that is focusing on the IT solutions for public transportation. That really shows you on how dedicated we are to opening up that market with cities across the world. With that, I want to thank you all for being here. Um, we'll have a, a couple of opportunities for photo operations, and we'll hang around to answer questions individually if you have them. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.